Instead of their normal morning meal, these ewes and their lambs are being offered a meal of Russian olive and carrageena. Ewes are familiar with both shrubs, but after eating carrageena, they received a bolus of lithium chloride. This caused nausea and an aversion to carrageena. The lambs have no experience with either plant, so they choose to eat what mom eats. After eating the shrubs with their mothers each morning for five days, the lambs are put into the pen without their mothers. Because they have experience from eating with mom and from positive feedback from the nutrients in Russian olive, they stick to what mom ate and avoid what she avoided. This second set of ewes are averted to Russian olive but eat carrageena. After exposure to the shrubs, the lambs are sent in to graze without their mothers. Again, they choose to eat what mom ate. For the final morning of the demonstration, both groups of lambs enter the pen to a choice of Russian olive and carrageena. Our theory is that the lambs whose mothers ate Russian olive will continue to eat Russian olive and those whose mothers ate carrageena will eat carrageena. We've placed C's on the backs of the lambs who should eat carrageena to help you track their progress. Lambs not marked with C's should eat Russian olive. In just a short time, the lambs separate into the groups representing the foods that their mothers ate. In the process, they try the other food. This is only one of a number of studies showing that an animal's mother is the single most important factor in determining what foods it eats and where it lives. It also demonstrates how young animals try new foods based on what they see their herd mates eating. <laughs>